Well, hello there, it's Green and welcome to the first build for 2021. As you can see from the title today, we are working on a greenhouse. And I want to talk a bit about the thought process before we dive into the actual build and how this room turned into a greenhouse. So I took about a month off um, working on self-improvement and when I came back to The Sims, I started working, of course, on a weird quirky build, which you will kind of see in the background. Uh, but I finished the exterior <laughs> and it was time for me to move into the interior and I had no inspiration, like zero. So I thought, you know what, let's start slow. Um, <laughs> For 2021, my goal is to up the amount of videos that I post per week. Now we have one build per week and I really want to post a room build, like a smaller build, not necessarily, you know, a room build, but that was my idea behind it. Um, because like they are easier to produce and they are still kind of fun. But I started working on a kitchen, right? Um, and I was like, this is not me, you know? This is not weird enough, this is not quirky enough, this is just a basic repro reproduced idea. I don't, I don't want to do this room build. So I tried to find what is unique about room builds. And I thought, oh, you know what? It's big brain. Uh, what I really like is recreating houses from TV shows and movies, uh, but th they take so long, like hours upon hours. So what if we recreated like a famous kitchen or a famous living room? My first idea was recreating the living room from Stranger Things um, and, you know, like other topical shows. So I really like the idea, however. I don't really know if anyone wants that, like what? what's the point of that? My idea behind it is you could also ask for what other rooms I could recreate from movies or TV shows, which would take significantly less time, but I don't know, would anyone actually want to see that? I don't know, plus I'm a perfectionist and it wouldn't take just uh, a couple hours, like just two hours and we're done, which is be the idea essentially behind the second video. Um, it would take way too long. For example, for my latest house, the Grace and Frank house, I think the living room took me five hours. <laughs> Which is too much, you know, it's way too freaking much. So, whoops, I dropped that. I, I don't know. And I thought, you know what, I went back to the gallery, to my online gallery and was like, okay, what do people like? And I found out that, <laughs> obviously, like, duh, but not, how many living rooms do you need, like, right? Like, the gallery, ugh, the gallery already has way too many living rooms and kitchens and bathrooms, so it has to have that unique element. And I saw that, like, weirder rooms, like a greenhouse, the pool conservatory that I did, and, like, a movie deck that I've done, this performed way better because obviously not everyone is creating something like that. Plus, I can insert that element of weirdness to them. Um, so I thought, okay, what's a problem of mine? And what I really don't like is I usually start all of my let's let's plays, personal let's plays, not online ones, um, with like a rags to riches style. And I like to do it like the extreme version that James Turner has created, where you need to sell stuff and people have to buy them from you. And I love that. Like, this is so much harder and I love the talent. So I usually end up buying like the table, uh, the seller's table, how is it called? I don't recall and selling stuff that I created there. And I absolutely hate how simple it looks. So I thought, you know what would be cool? Why not? create a little stall that's like themed so we could have like a beggar's one a florist one and they would be like fun and small and just themed and cute so i loved that idea i really really liked it <laughs> and i was really happy with it and i started working what you originally saw <sighs> and the more i worked 
on it, the more I hated it. No, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna be blind, I'm like, what the freak is that? What is that? What's the unique element of it? Nothing. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so, what started as an easier task, you know, <laughs> doing a simple room build, uh, all of a sudden it took me way longer and it was the end of the day and I was really frustrated and my boyfriend comes and asks me, what is up? And I'm like, I had all these tasks to do today, but you know what I did instead? I did a room build, but I didn't finish it. And he's like, why didn't you work on your build? I'm like, I thought it would take less time. It's like, did it though? Did it? I'm like, no, it didn't. Shut up. Um, so I worked on whatever the freak the first room you saw was, and I'm like, yes, that's not going to work. And I was about to give up. And I thought, you know what? Let's go back to the original idea, which was to create a how is it called, the greenhouse, or like, you know, generally a, some sort of a greenhouse, pool conservatory, guest house, kind of like that, but like a room, a themed room that would represent each month. And we would do that monthly, and in the end it would be like kind of a cute calendar. This was my idea last year, however, I got extremely lazy, <laughs> so I was like, eh, screw that. Um... <clears throat> I think I did three months or four, something like that. Um, and I thought I was super excited and there were some parts of the original room that I really liked, so I kept them. I started with this eco lifestyle fence all around it and was like, yes. So I expanded that and I used it as a wall, worked with the ivies from get together to give it like you know more of a greenery setup i used some of the furniture we already had you know in the room and i was like yes this works plus this little table i already used it in the original room and it was decorated and i was like yes this gives you know details in the exterior and i grabbed the original mm, greenhouse that I did, which I had the panels already turned and I didn't really have to worry about it. Uh, but then I had so much trouble making it look different because it ended up looking exactly almost the same as the one backstage, like, you know, the background. And I was like, yes, this is not much different. Like, what is it? Is it just changing the wall and copying it? I hate it. So I decided to kind of change it up, switch it up. So I used the half wall and we used smaller size glass panels and now like the angle of the glass panel roof is different, but everything is still very usable. And I was really happy with it. Plus it was really green and it was really eco lifestyle. You know, it really matched the whole color scheme. It was super fun and I was so, so happy with it. And I had to add the Queen Turbine, I think that gave it a wonderful effect in like the background as you see it as a room. Um, it doesn't have that many spots, obviously for plants, but I was like, eh, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> I think it has a five or, or six, which is not great, obviously. And I was so happy with the end result, like so, so, so happy. I was really excited. I was like, yes. And then I finished, and I'm like, uh, January greenhouse done? The fuck? This doesn't look like winter. This doesn't have anything that represents that it's January's greenhouse. Um, help? <laughs> and I got so mad at myself because I really liked that, and I didn't want to scrap it. So I was like, the fuck? <laughs> and I searched Pinterest, and I'm like, okay. How does a winter greenhouse look like? I don't know. And a lot of black greenhouses popped with snow and I'm like, I guess we're doing that. <laughs> because hell no, I'm building a different greenhouse. And I switched some things up. <laughs> I switched the color obviously of the panels, we changed the walls, we changed the color of the fences. And it's more dark, obviously, I tend the weather to winter to kind of match it better. However, there are still some things that don't completely match. For example, the swatches for some um, items from 
eco lifestyle don't really match that well. Like the arts, the storage space on the inside, and I don't know, like that little table with plants that's like decor doesn't really work. Uh, well, like the colors, why couldn't they just add a plain, simple white swatch? That would look so much better. I think everyone has been complaining for simple white and black swatches on every item for like three years now, which is like, get on it. Um, but yeah, I added those and I'm like, it still doesn't look wintery. And I changed the interior. I'm like, I, I guess. <laughs> and I added some extra like plants to make it I changed the color of the plants, I don't know if that helped. I was about to make them red, but I think that would make it too Christmas, if you will. Um, so I remember Jessie Hartz, I think it's her name, she's a simmer, and she does amazing builds. Uh, she has recreated also some houses, which I kind of fangirled, <laughs> like from TV shows, I think Edith Finch was the name of a video game, maybe? Um, and she recreated that and she went in so many magazines online, like featured in them. I was like kind of fun girl because now all of a sudden I wasn't the only person in the community <laughs> who was about to spend so many hours, you know, um, working on recreating to the exact build that she saw online. <laughs> so I was really happy. And she did like this build that I don't recall, but I remember clearly that she used this snow from Snow Escape and made it like, you know, snow in the roof. I think it was like an outdoor retreat build, probably. Um, and I'm like, this is genius. I love that idea. So I had to use it here to give it more of a wintry vibe, which I think really works because I've been freezing my butt off for the past couple of days. Um, the temperature is at 4 degrees Celsius, which I think translates roughly to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And let me tell you, I'm not built for temperatures under 10 degrees <laughs> Celsius, which translates to 90. No, it's not 90 Fahrenheit. What is it? 10 Celsius to Fahrenheit. You know what? You, you, 50 Fahrenheit. You US people really need to get your metric systems together. <laughs> I'm really done. Um, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But it's still not wintery enough. <laughs> so I decided to change the lights with these fairy lights. I tried to use the snowflakes, but I was like, does this make it too Christmassy? It shouldn't be too Christmassy, of course, because then it would be December and we don't want it to be December. <laughs> so I struggled so much to convert it into a wintery thing. And <laughs> I am not in love with it. I really love the other version more. But this have to do, I have uploaded, by the way, both versions to the gallery. Because I need to use this one for the calendar, but I like the other one way more. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really curious which version you like the best. Because I asked my boyfriend, he's like the black one, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's the wrong answer, please try again. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this was the first build for the year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll have an amazing day and take care. Bye!